You can find The Ping Ponger Project in Make Volume 24, and it's by Edwin Weiss. The Ping Ponger is built entirely out of PVC pipe, most of which you can find in your plumbing supply store, plus a racquetball and a ping pong ball. You will need one unusual piece. It's called a snap tee. This is a two-inch snap tee, and there's a link in the description of this video and also in the PDF for this project of where you can pick one up. Using a hacksaw or bandsaw, we need to cut the ends off of the snap tee to make it two and a half inches long. Be careful and always wear eye protection. The only other tricky piece to find is this two-inch insert coupling, but I found one in the well section of my home improvement store. There's also a link in the PDF of where you can get one of these. And back to your saw, where one end of this needs to be cut off, uh, just a two-inch length is all you'll need of this piece. And while you're at it, cut yourself a 5 8 inch wide ring off of the scrap of that insert coupling. Okay, now it's time to start assembling our ping-ponger. We'll insert the female adapter into our snap tee, and this doesn't need to be glued in place. The backstop consists of a 1 inch long piece of 2 inch pipe and also that 5 8 inch ring we cut from the insert coupling, so those will be glued together. The barrel of our ping ponger is a 2 inch piece of pipe and also that piece of insert coupling that we cut earlier, and we'll file the inside of the barrel pieces to make a bevel that matches our racquetball. The three pieces that make up the handle for our ping ponger can be assembled together and you can use PVC cement to hold them nice and tight. The spring that will propel our ping pong ball is going to be made out of the racket ball and we're going to set that in the barrel piece and then make a mark around it with a pen and cut it out with a sharp knife. Be careful doing this. The two piece backstop is now inserted into our snap tee and that will be cemented in place and in the middle we'll add our racket ball spring followed by the barrel. The handle acts as a handy tool that we can use to push our spring and make it flip the other way. Oh, and you can store some ping pong balls in the one end of the handle because that's not going to be glued into the body of our ping ponger. Well, it's done and ready to test out, so insert a ping pong ball and let's see about the first test here. Uh, okay, that was a fail. Basically, what you need to do is adjust that rubber spring in order to make it shoot out like this. And there we go. Now, granted, a ping pong paddle will hit a ping pong ball further and harder, but what fun is that? It's an easy weekend project for fun, the ping ponger. We'll see you next time with another weekend project. In the year 2000, Ben Heckendorn built his first mod. We can rebuild it smaller, better. Portable. Since then, he has continued his work, helping those in need with creative new projects. If you've got an idea you'd like to see built, why not send it to The Ben Heck Show.